It's Rachel. So, I did a DIY weird back to school supplies video last year because I wanted to make weird a good thing. A lot of things that are weird are cool, right? So I decided to do the same exact thing this year. Also, I'm currently having a back to school giveaway where I give away a MacBook Air and the only rule to enter is that you must be subscribed. So if you're already subscribed, then you're already automatically entered. The giveaway originally ended on August 12th, but I think I'm going to change it to ending on like the 20th because it's back to school and people aren't necessarily back to school yet at that point. Okay, first things first. Since we're working with hot glue and sharp objects, have a parent help you because... Ow! Ow! Firstly, you'll need some lipsticks and some pencils. Measure up how short your pencil will need to be, and then take the lipstick out of the container. And you could just take that lipstick and put it into a small container and save it so you can actually wear it. Don't ever just waste lipstick like that, please. Start cutting the pencil by rotating it in a pair of scissors until it just breaks. Make sure the pencil fits. Then take some air drying clay and stick it in the lipstick container and stick the pencil after that, then clean up the edges. You can make so many of these with just one pencil because they're so short, so don't just throw out the pencil once you finish with it, just sharpen it again and cut it again. Then take some paint. I like to paint the tips of them to look like they're lipstick colors, but obviously if you don't want to do this, that's fine because when you sharpen it, it's going to erase anyways. For the s'mores notebooks, take two notebooks and glue them on top of each other. Next, take a graham cracker colored t-shirt, whatever that means, and fold it in half and cut it. Then glue the edges to the first and last page of the notebook. Once you've done that, fill it up with cotton ball so it has a fluffy look to it, then glue the last edge down. Now mark nine dots on top of the notebook, cut some small holes into them, then glue those holes down and color on top of the dots with the brown. I call this one the campfire song song. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. At least now the teacher might take you like a little bit more seriously when you try to pretend that your dog ate your homework. But then there's chocolate in it, so. For the eraser rings, first tape down a surface so that it doesn't get messy, then take some silicone, which is surprisingly easier to find than you'd think, like I just got this from Target, and some baby powder. Squeeze some silicone onto the tape and then pour baby powder all over it. Then take some chalk, and I'll let you know what that's for in a second. But just mix up the silicone and the baby powder until it looks like this clay texture, then take an eraser and literally erase nothing. Because the more eraser shavings that you'll have, the better it will erase when you actually use it. Then mix that in, take the chalk and draw on literally nothing again because clearly I'm like super into that, and then roll the clay in it to change the clay's color. Now roll up half the clay so that it fits around your finger as the ring band. Then take some diamond silicone molds, I mean you could shape them yourself, but I cannot shape them myself so I'm using this. Let it sit for two hours until it's dry. then attach them. You can always add more eraser clay to attach them, but ain't nobody feel like waiting another two hours, like really? So I'm gonna hot glue gun them together. I didn't have enough rings to write hi. To make the little soda can sharpener, just take any small cylinder shaped object, I'm using a sprinkles container, and a silver sharpie and draw over the entire thing. Then take the top off and draw a mark to where you want to cut the little circle out so you can add the sharpener in there comfortably. Then glue the sharpener in. Now search for any soda can logo online, you can use Sprite or whatever you want. Then minimize the size of it to like 20% and print it out. This printer so abusively grabs the paper. God, it like completely crumbled it up. Cut out the logo 
and add some packing tape on it so that it's protected because we're all way too lazy to laminate it. Then glue the logo on around the container. And to show you that you can literally make anything into a sharpener, I cut a hole out of the bottom of this M&M container and glued the sharpener in it and I used a long pair of scissors as tweezers and voila, sharpener. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't see my previous two videos, click those down below and subscribe right over there if you're not subscribed already. Okay, I love you guys so much. Bye!